72-year-old Alan Richard has been cycling for most of his life. He got into BMX racing about eight years ago. Since then, he's pedaled his way to being one of the top 10 oldest competitive BMX cyclists in the nation. Elizabeth Shores tells us his story. Alan Richard started cycling when he was in his early 20s. He would ride his bike to and from work, but once he got started, he just couldn't stop. I just rode all over town. You know, whatever I needed to go, I did. You know, took the bike. He says he got into BMX racing after his son and grandson started doing it. Now, he regularly comes out to Fast Tracks in Bismarck, both to compete and to volunteer. All my life, I took from the community. You know, this is kind of my way. I donate to the track here time and money and I, it's kind of my way of putting back, right. you know, helping out. I don't know how many more years I got to do that. Here's Alabama. Al Arkansas, says he analyzed Arizona, official lists North of BMX Florida. riders from across the nation to see where he fell among older riders. Three, four, five, six, and I'm the seventh one. He says it's very likely he's the seventh oldest officially registered BMX competitive cyclist in the nation, and that's between men and women. But he still prefers getting out into nature. It's where he excels. They could beat me on the track, but don't even try to touch me when it comes to a trail. Some of his preferred spots to bike outdoors include riding around Harmon Lake and cycling in Medora. One of his favorite spots in Bismarck is the trail at Sleepy Hollow Park. Mountain biking is a little bit different by the fact that you're in trees and around and ruts and it's a slow thing. Al says he's been injured while cycling before, but even two shoulder and one knee replacements can't keep him from getting out and exploring the trails. He says it's something most people can get into. Find somebody. If you don't have any prior experience to, to help you out, you know, get you started on it. And uh, there's a lot of people, you find bikers, boy, they'll talk to you all day long about how good they are, you know, in the biking. Al says cycling has kept him fit and healthy and is likely one of the reasons he's the seventh oldest competitive BMX cyclist in the nation. He doesn't have plans to stop anytime soon. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores reporting for your news leader. Al says the toughest ride he's ever done was a 100 mile ride along the Matahe Trail in hot weather. He says if you want to get into cycling, try to find a nice bike. He says you can save money getting it second hand.